A little bit. Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and I am extremely excited for this video. I have my suitcase right here, all packed up, ready to go. We are headed to Seattle, and I am bringing with me the brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 9. So I partnered with Samsung on this video to bring you the ultimate Samsung Galaxy Note 9 experience. Bringing this phone with me, going to test out tons of things, camera, battery life, uh, the different slow-mos, the S Pen. So lots to cover on the Galaxy Note 9 and sharing my ex actual experience while traveling with this device. Very excited to see Seattle. I've never been there before. Going to visit Mount Rainier, going to go to the Space Needle, even the public market to see the fish throwing. So a lot of fun things planned. So let's get started on this ultimate Galaxy Note 9 experience. All right, so we made it to Seattle, really excited. Just checked into our hotel, got my key right here. This is the Edgewater Hotel. Really, really neat hotel because it is the only waterfront hotel in Seattle. It was actually built in 1962 during the World's Fair, right on top of a pier here, which gives you some really good views of the water, along with a restaurant that is right along the water as well. Lobby views, uh, it has fireplaces, and you can look out and it's, you just look straight down and there's the water. So uh, yeah, really excited to stay here and check out Seattle. All right, so in the hotel room, comes with a fireplace. Not sure how much use we'll get out of it, considering it is summer. There's also a really sweet balcony that we have with a, a, city, a cool city view so we can go sit out there. But also this cute little footrest right here, this little bear, which actually gives us a pretty good opportunity to show off one of the features on the Note 9. So the Note 9's camera has a feature called Scenes, and I really wanna test that out while I'm on this trip, uh, whether it be landscapes, buildings, food. There's also one for animals, so let's go ahead and test it out on this uh, cute little bear right here. Essentially what it will do is it recognizes the object that the camera is showing, so if I swivel over to the bear, you will go ahead and see an icon pop up right there. It recognizes that this is an animal, so it will, uh, essentially once you take the picture, it will optimize the photo based on what it's looking at, so to make the animal look, be look better. So there's our little pet bear picture of it, looking good. And this scene optimizer has a lot of scenes to choose from. There's a night one, there's mountains, there's flowers, waterfalls, food. So as you can see, all kinds of ones that I could use on this trip, and there's many more as well. And some of the pictures I took in Seattle genuinely turned out very good. I will post some right now, uh, specifically the Mount Rainier ones, the ones with the waterfalls in them. Just so scenic, uh, just looks like a postcard. Ready to go? Let's do it. All right, guys, so we're heading to Mount Rainier right now, do a little hiking, stop and see some really cool waterfalls, things like that. Uh, so we rented out a car. Uh, it's a little chilly, a little colder than I thought it was going to be. Uh, it's also supposed to be a little chillier up on higher altitudes too. So brought a couple jackets. Just got some coffee. Also, uh, this car came with a uh, nice auxiliary cable for us, which of course in the Note 9 has a headphone jack, so we can use that to listen to some music on the ride here. Another nice use that they have a headphone jack, but we're gonna have some fun, uh, really go to some picturesque places. Really excited to check this out, get some good video and uh, good photos as well. So let's get going. quite a steep hike uh, there's we're getting high enough where there's some snow now so I made a snowball 
I'm gonna do a super slow mo shot of just tossing the snowball. All right, yeah, I'm recording now. All right, on three, one. And yes, the climb up the mountain was a bit of a task, but completely worth it. Uh, everywhere you looked, there was something to see. A bunch of nature, really cool mountains, just the views were amazing, extremely picturesque. Just a perfect spot to take pictures and really test out the camera on the Note 9, and it really did excel. What do you think, dude? Worst things to be looking at while eating lunch. So true. Amazing. All right, so we're about halfway up Mount Rainier, seven, 8,000 feet up. Uh, it's quite quite the hike, having fun. Uh, taking a lot of pictures. This is a really good, uh, good place to really test out the camera on the Galaxy Note 9. It's fantastic, it has that telephoto lens, so it has two times optical zoom. You don't lose any quality, especially when you have big landscapes and such. It's, uh, it's, it's really nice to be able to zoom in. Makes the, just makes the camera overall more versatile. Uh, now, I also have a perfect example of how we can use this S Pen even more, and that is because you can open up the camera and you can even take pictures just while pressing the button on the S Pen. So I'm gonna do that. I mean, for example, maybe I am all alone hiking and I wanna take a picture of myself. Selfies, sometimes you just don't get enough in the background. You want just a, a better shot using the, the rear camera, of course, might get a better shot with that. So what we could do is set it up on the tripod. I can even just press and hold the button to open up the camera. And then if we want to, uh, just kind of make sure it's all equal, stand in front of it. Mac, come on, let's go, get in the shot. And we can just press the button to take a picture. So let's get in, get in this. All right, one, just press the button. One, two, three. And the S Pen's very useful just to simply write notes. I find that I genuinely like to write down notes as opposed to type them. For me, that's just a personal preference. Whether I'm sitting in a meeting writing notes or even just on top of a mountain reflecting, you also can pass the time, do some coloring. You can just navigate with your phone. There's a lot of different shortcuts that you can use with the S Pen to help your productivity and even just your reflecting time. And of course, had to see the gorgeous waterfalls that Mount Rainier has to offer. Extremely peaceful, very, very picturesque. Of course, got some amazing shots of these waterfalls with the mountain in the background. And even in the surrounding area of Mount Rainier, there's some really cool waterfalls to look at, which you can get very close to and even uh, wade in the water. And if you'd like to really go underneath the waterfall. So this is another perfect opportunity to get a couple slow-mo shots of the water in slow-mo and just me standing there. Uh, really cool use of the slow-mo. And we're gonna do a quick water dunk test. So let's go ahead and put the Note 9 in the water here. Uh, it's working just fine as you can see. Uh, let's go ahead and dip it in. The very clear water as you can see. Just leave it in there for a little while. We'll leave the water, or I'm sorry, the uh, camera ro rolling, but uh, you see the water just come right off. I want to go ahead and wipe it down real quick, dry it off. And it does say moisture has been detected to your charger USB port. Check it, make sure you dry it off. So you'll see, phone is working just fine, working how it should. I can go ahead and use it, and we're good to go. We have made it down the mountain, just about finishing our hike. One last look at the gorgeous Mount Rainier. It's time to head back to the city, so let's go ahead and hop in the car. All right, so we're here at the Public Market, pretty iconic uh, place to go see in Seattle. We're gonna hopefully find some of the fishermen tossing the fish and get some slow-mo shots on the Note 9. There's really a lot going on at the Public Market, including piano players, a lot of shops, flower shops for days, and of course, fish. Let's go ahead and find them tossing the fish.
risky. So then, then it would be me. Ah. Yeah, to me to do that. Ooh, that what if I'm willing wrong. to take the risk? Okay. I am, okay. absolutely. We could do it. Okay, okay. appreciate it. Yeah. All right, we are going to have a fish tossed in my head. We'll see how this goes. Oh, back fish, Perfect. I got you, yeah, I got yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, all right. All right, Sammy, I haven't done this in a long time. Head back a little bit. Perfect. Oh man, I don't want to mess up your beautiful hair. That's all right. All right, don't move. All right. You, you ready? All right. What's your name, sir? Tim. Jim. Tim. Tim. How much do you like a big face, Tim? A little bit. Deep, deep for Timmy! Yeah. Timmy! Yeah. <laughs> No, no, not at all. Yay. Nice work. Thank yeah. you so much. No Appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks. And on this trip, I was really able to test out Bixby with that dedicated button on the left side, just press and hold to activate the voice assistant. I found that speech recognition worked very well, whether I needed to find out how tall Mount Rainier was, how tall the Space Needle was, a specific restaurant nearby, or even just call an Uber because it does have partnerships with apps such as Yelp or Uber. I can do so. All right, so next we are going to head up to the Space Needle all the way up to the top. Apparently they did some construction on it. So there is a glass floor so you can really see all the way down. Probably get some really cool shots actually with the Note 9 and the telephoto lens. Also be able to test out that dual aperture mode and low light because there's also the Chihuly Garden and Glass. They have some blown glass art. It's supposed to be one of the cooler museums to see. So really excited, let's, let's get going. Hey Bixby, how tall is a space needle? The space needle is 605 feet tall. And there you have it, 605 feet tall. According to Bixby, we're going all the way up in the space needle to really check out the amazing views, city views, all over Seattle. Uh, you can really get some good pictures as well. There's also that brand new glass floor in the Space Needle, which is a little freaky at first. You do get used to it, but a uh, little scary to walk on it and look down at the ground. And funny enough, after you're done with the Space Needle, they offered a VR headset experience of you bungee jumping off of the Space Needle, which really wasn't that realistic, but a nice little touch. Next up, we're heading to the Chihuly Garden and Glass Museum. And this is really one of the cooler museums I have ever been to. Some of these blown glass pieces of art are just incredible. The coloring and the amount of detail is just so cool to me. Uh, also walking through the, it is a very dimly lit room. So taking uh, night shots with that dual aperture mode came in handy on the Note 9. Dude, some of these are like professional quality. These are, these turn out so good in this lighting. And if you go outside, there is a garden mixed in with some of the blown glass sculptures, which had a really nice feel to it. And they did a good job organizing everything. And our final stop on our trip was to Safeco Field for a Mariners game, which they did end up winning on a walk-off block. So it was a very exciting game. But other than that, time to head to the airport, time to head back to Chicago. So unfortunately, the trip is over all the way back in Chicago now, but I am genuinely excited for you to see this video. I really hope you enjoy it. If you did like it, be sure to click that thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. Uh, I've got a ton of footage to edit through and go through, but I'm excited to edit it and get this out for you. Of course, that was my experience with the brand new Galaxy Note 9. I even have a new background from that glass museum that we went to. Overall, I have been genuinely impressed with the Galaxy Note 9 battery life in general. It has lasted me through a full day, even while traveling, even while out taking tons of pictures, tons of video. Uh, it has been fantastic. It was a great addition of Samsung to add that 4,000 milliamp hour battery. Also great that it has a base minimum of 128 gigs of storage because I have a ton of footage, video and photo footage and slow-mo footage on this Note 9. So hopefully you do enjoy all the footage I've captured on the Note 9 in general. And overall, that's just about it. That was my experience with the brand new Galaxy Note 9. If you enjoyed the video, click that subscribe button. And as always guys, thank you very much for watching.